Hey there, fellow Nair Gagers. Uh, I just want to talk with you a little bit about something that we just started doing. We did the first one yesterday called the uh, Steam Locomotive Experience. And what that is, is that you, you've heard of uh, Engineer for an Hour programs or Your Hand on the Throttle or some others. Uh, what we're doing here is a little bit more uh, comprehensive in that uh, instead of having a short period of time that you can come out and operate the locomotive, what we're doing here is come out first thing in the morning with us and we come over here, pull the locomotive out of the engine house, clean the firebox, clean the smoke box, build a fire, um, and then build, you know, get a wood fire going, and then once we get a little bit of steam pressure, then you know go over to coal and bring her up to temperature, bring her up to pressure, and test out all the appliances on it. Uh, and then I'll take the locomotive out and demonstrate its operation. We'll run up and down the hill a few times, and then each participant would then have the opportunity to take the throttle and run the locomotive uh, on the railroad. We we did that yesterday. We had three participants here. Everybody had a great time. Uh, it, it was about six or seven hours. Uh, that's including, uh, we, we buy breakfast in the morning and then around lunchtime we'll order a pizza uh, for everyone. So, you know, your two meals are included in that. Um, and, you know, basically what you get to see is everything that we do here from opening the engine house door in the morning to closing the engine house door in the evening. Uh, we don't leave anything out. Uh, we do everything that there is to be done with the locomotive for that day. Uh, I think yesterday we even we even put coal in a tender, so we were using the, uh, the coaling tower. So, you know, doing everything. And uh, I think this is probably, you know, the best way to get up close and personal with the 58. If you live far away, and many of, many of you on YouTube do, you don't really have the opportunity to come out here to just ride the train for an hour or so. This is a reason to come out. You spend the entire day here. You get to do a lot of stuff that, you know, if you don't have a lot of, or any steam locomotive experience, you get to do things that you otherwise would not be able to do. And it really makes it worthwhile to come out here for a weekend. Uh, we are doing three more events, uh, three more of the steam locomotive experiences that I have already on the schedule and they they was will be in the description uh, we have slots available you can go to youngstownsteel.org and look them up and sign up uh, sign up right there on the website and when you come out once you get signed up when you come out we meet at 8 a.m. at a local restaurant we have breakfast we get to know each other a little bit we give a brief brief description of what we're going to do during the day we come over here pull the locomotive out get started um, about the only thing you need is you have to you know, at least be 18 years old. You have to be in enough physical shape that you can climb up and down on the locomotive and, uh, you know, shovel some coal and, and, and the like. Um, and, you know, you wear hard, hard soled shoes, long sleeve shirts, good. Otherwise you're, you're probably going to get yourself burned. Uh, and, uh, you know, just, uh, just come out here with uh, with the willingness to want to learn about the, the locomotive and what we're doing here, and uh, you know I think it would be a great opportunity. We we charge two hundred and fifty eight dollars uh, per person, and you know for an entire day, including meals, that's pretty cheap. The reason we do it so cheaply is that we we try to do it with at least two, three, or maximum of four people at a time. Yesterday we had three. I think I think three is kind of a good number because uh, everyone has an opportunity to, to do something. There's enough time to handle that, and there's not too many people crowding on the locomotive. Uh, so, you know, we, we do it in in small groups, uh, and that and that enables us to bring in enough revenue for the day to cover all of our expenses of coal and water treatment and and time involved and everything else so yeah if you you know, definitely if you want to uh, come out here to the JNL and you're waiting for the right opportunity to come out a steam locomotive experience is the right time to come out now if you are unable to make one of the three dates that we have we're gonna have a locomotive running up until you know through October and and these dates are in August and then the first weekend in September 
as long as as long as you don't request a weekend that is uh, one of our operating weekends, um, I think we might be able to accommodate you. We might throw that onto the schedule and maybe get a couple others come out that same day too. Um, so, you know, uh, just uh, make a comment, send me an email, however, get in touch with me and say, hey, Rick, I got some vacation coming up, but it's not until this weekend. Can I come out then? Yeah, you know. You know, bring it up. I'm, we might be able to accommodate you. I think we're probably one of the most accommodating little railroads around <laughs> um, when it comes to coming out for a visit. So I hope to. I hope that some of you will sign up for this. I'd really enjoy uh, meeting some of our, uh, you know, YouTube subscribers here, and uh, I hope to see you on the rail someday. Take care.